Hey, welcome back to Die Cash Cars. So today we are going to talk about eBay and the negative stigma that it has on the Hot Wheels community because that is where people can list Hot Wheels for well over the current secondary market value. And if you are an unsuspecting collector who is possibly just getting into the hobby or maybe you're not quite paying attention to the market changes and shifts in value, you probably fell victim to one of these high prices. Situations like this have actually prompted the nickname for eBay, such as Feebay or Evil Bay, right? But I got a nickname for you guys today that you probably haven't heard of yet, and that is Angel Bay. And that is my own term for eBay because guys, unlike a lot of the Hot Wheels community, I love eBay. That is where I go to buy I would say 75% of the cars in my collection outside of the cars that I get at retail price. Because on eBay guys, I'm able to find the cars that are hard to find, releases that are limited and I probably didn't have a shot to get them at retail in the first place. So eBay is your resort and if you guys look closely at eBay guys, you can find really good deals that make sense for you, for your collection, for your wallet, and give you a lot of potential to grow in the future financially as well. Also know guys that I am not sponsored or affiliated by eBay, so this is purely just on my own personal experience. But I wanted to highlight with five examples guys to show you guys that there are good deals to be found on eBay. All it takes is a little bit of patience and being vigilant. The first one being this loose Dotson 510 from the Boulevard series. You can see that I did get this car loose, but I only paid $25 for it. It was unriveted already. So I'm guessing somebody just bought this for the wheels, but nonetheless, $25 I feel like was a fair price to pay for that. If you look for this car in carded form, it's selling for about 150 to 180. In loose form, it's going for about 80 to 90 dollars. So unriveted, I would say it's at least 50 to 60 dollars. So you could say that I was able to save maybe about 30 dollars on this purchase. Next up is this 2010 first edition release of the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 in silver, which was the premier color for this cast. I was able to find this off of eBay for just $15, which was a complete steal because I have been searching for this car for over two years, just combing social media platforms as well as eBay, and I've never seen it. Never saw it in person until I got it in hand from the sale. And even dating back just a year on eBay sold listings, there isn't a single sale of this car by itself. The closest I found were two lots where it sold with three other R34s for $400, which I'm not exactly sure how much this accounted for that. And then in another lot, there was a short card R34 2010 first edition, but in the blue color variation, and that sold for $80, right? So I personally feel like this car true value is probably around that $45 to $50 range. So essentially I was able to save about $30 on this pickup as well. Another hard to find R34, this one being the Zamac release from the 2013 factory sealed set. So I know there's plenty of Zamac R34s out there on the open market, currently selling anywhere around the $30 to $40 range, but this one was the one that I wanted in particular, the factory sealed one. These I have not come across many. I know I have a buddy who has one in his own personal collection, which I've always admired and I definitely needed to get one for myself. Fortunately, I was able to find this one earlier this year just for $32, which I felt was a really good deal because my guess is if this one goes on the open market and the folks really do understand what it is, I'm sure it'll sell for $50, probably more. And I know you've seen this one on camera this whole time. This is the RLC R34 in blue. So I've talked about this car before. I purchased this last December 2021 for $250 and as of right now, this car is just over that $400 mark, around $425, $450. But I do recall back in September of last year, this car was just starting to break that $300 barrier. And the other thing that really drew me to this car was the serial number on it. So 
it is number 916 out of 12,500 so I mean I know it's very subjective but I would consider this a low number which as we know in today's market and again I don't everybody doesn't necessarily agree with this but low numbers typically do draw a little bit more money in the secondary market so I would put an added 50 to 75 dollars onto the current market price so back then if the r34s were going for about 300 i would have called it more like 375 today it's about 425 this is probably more like a 500 dollars car right now and the last and best purchase that i got off of ebay was just from last week guys i went on ebay I was looking around for mini set twos based on the video that I uploaded just last week. Uh, I did run across this mini set four from 2021. It was listed for about $175. And just for the heck of it, I threw out an offer of $90 and the seller accepted it right away. He was just very motivated. He was just looking to get rid of this stuff out of his inventory. And after I looked at his posting, he actually had two of them. And I had messaged him, hey, do you mind doing $90 for both? And he took it. So not only one, guys, but two mini sets from 2021, fully sealed, 89 cars a piece, three super treasure hunts a piece. I got them each for $90, which is under retail. Retail goes for about 130 plus tax. Secondary market right now is about 180 to $200. Just to go over some of the highlights out of this mini set four from 2021, you got the red recolor of the liberty walk super silhouette nissan gtr in red you got the pandem toyota super gr in yellow a plethora of zamax from this case as well too amc rebel machine you got the el camino and the porsche 935 and then the super treasure hunt side of the set guys you got the 49 ford f1 the nova gasser and then the shelby 427 cobra so having only spent $90 per box, I was actually able to save just as much as I spent $90 based on the secondary market price of at a minimum $180. If I look at the cars inside of these boxes, I feel like I could get $30 just for the three supers alone. The IDs, I actually have a lot of hope for these. I feel like because they are the last of their kind, the last ID chases coming out of 2021, they might have more value moving forward so i'm actually going to hang on to these and then the zamax again i don't know if you could really sell them or if there is much of a market for them but i'm sure you could get two to three dollars a piece and then the rest of the main lines i could totally just sell those at a garage sale for 50 cents a piece they're all brand new mint on card hot wheels under market value so i mean you could easily make fifty dollars profit on the cars inside alone so as you can see i was able to save a good amount of money just cherry picking deals off of ebay to the tune of 380 dollars over the last year and this is just five deals that i'm sharing with you guys just a little bit of evidence that you can get good deals off of ebay and it's not as evil as everybody thinks it is it's actually a really good platform reaching out to collectors, buyers, and sellers across the world. And you can find anything that you need. A couple of tips that I'll give you guys. Number one, you got to set your save searches specifically for what you're looking to add to your collection. The second is don't be afraid to make offers to sellers, even if they don't have that as an option on their listing. I mean, that's the reason why eBay sets it up so that you can contact the seller and just look to make a deal you can negotiate even if it's not an option and the last tip i'll give you guys is if you are bidding on an auction look for ones that end at odd times and again not to cheat the system but it's probably more likely that there are going to be less people looking for an auction to end at, during work hours so anywhere from 9 to 2 p.m or really late at night you know in the a.m. time frames versus the prime times which is going to be in your evenings and your afternoons so that's what i got for you guys let me know what kind of deals you guys have snagged off of ebay drop it in the comments like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on die cash cars